Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Interstage Window, my Saturday stream, which is usually with my friends. And today I have here with me Landon and Kitty. Say hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hey, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, we're doing a community day today. So we are gonna be playing Stardew Valley. If you are watching and you would like to play with us, you are more than welcome to. You just need to get in the Discord server. Once you get past the age gate in there, you can get the farmer role. And inside the farmer chat is where all the info is to get into the Zoom. Also, once we get the game going, um, I am going to uh, post the code there to actually get into the, the Stardew, into the, the actual um, farm, into our farm. How are you guys doing today? Kitty and Landon. I'm doing great. We have an intro now. We can't just ignore that. We do. <laughs> we do. We do have an intro. We have uh, logos for the show and little intros. So um, uh, those on YouTube, that's what all the, the streams will start with now. Whenever we're transitioning over from the starting soon screen to actually going, the little intro will play depending on the show. Uh, it's, it'll be really fun. <laughs> but yeah. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah, you did a um, great job with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I, I got an artist to do most of it for me. So <laughs> that's why it looks so good. I, I didn't make it. I bought it. <laughs> well, I made part of it. I, I put some of, put it up together in Canva, but like I didn't draw any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm just thrilled. It feels official. We're real now. Two years later. <laughs> Yes. We're, we're, we're real boys. <laughs> we're real boys. <laughs> yes. Um, another thing that I want to point out is that Twitch is getting rid of hosting. Um, I had bought art about a month ago of new alerts. So I'm just, I'm going to play my, my host alert because in a couple of weeks, hosting's not going to even happen. So I know no one's hosting me right now, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to play the alert because like, I want you guys to see it. Like, look at that. Look at Queen looking all adorable oh. singing. So cute. So cute. Um, I've got one of Re as well. It's, it plays randomly, so I think it'll probably play the Queen over and over. But I'm trying to see if I can get Re to play. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to. The glow I, I love Queen. <laughs> I love Queen too. <laughs> She's the best kitty cat. She's the best kitty cat. Okay, I'm actually gonna make it. I'm gonna force it to play the Re one. Um, Re. Re. Yes. Uh, let's see. Host event. There we go. So cute. So cute. And I, I want to say know. also, <laughs> and I want to say also thank you to everybody who came to Thursday's stream and watched the VOD. That was very special to me. And, um, and I will say quickly, I'm not going to get into the, the details. I'll do that on Thursday's stream when it's a little bit more like all about me. Um, we did put Re down yesterday and, mm -hmm. uh, and so she's at peace now. Um, so yeah, that's the update on that for those that were curious. All right. Yeah. Lots of love to read. yeah yeah okay we are gonna okay close that let me actually get the farm going you guys so you guys can get in all right it's loading come on stardew you can do it stardew is really there reliable yes <laughs> okay here we go i gotta go in and find oh there it it's at the bottom uh, let's see. Options. All right. It's in the Twitch chat. I'm also going to go type it into the Discord. And hope I do not fat finger it and type it wrong. And connecting. Okay. That looks right. Oh, I think oh. that's right. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, there. There we go. Kitty's in. New achievement already. What? What achievement did you get? Mother catch. Mother catch. Okay. I don't. I don't oh. know what that one is. Sounds like fish. Oh, it's raining today. That's good. I think I need to refresh what our goals are. I gotta look at the community. Yeah, I'm, I gotta go look as well. I know there was a fish I was trying to get last time. Let's see. No, not Hi the guys. sand fish. We can't get that yet. 
I'm having well, trouble loading the game, so give me a second to see. That's okay. You're good. It okay. Quit. Uh oh. It, do you have any mods installed, by the way? There were lots of mod updates mm -hmm. if you have some. I did not. Okay. My computer can't handle it. I know you were having some um, issues with it overheating recently. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I need to go to the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The walleyes come out at 12 p.m. And they're in the river and mountain lake. Okay, so I'm just going to go up to the mountain lake and fish. I checked on the chicks. We don't have any of the white eggs. We only have brown eggs. Okay. And we need to get a duck, too. Do we have a duck? No, we only have chicks and chickens. Okay. We probably need to buy a duck. So we need duck feather and we need duck egg. Do we need yeah. to upgrade the coop for that? Is it already upgraded? Um, It doesn't look upgraded. It looks pretty small. Okay. Well, maybe you can upgrade the coop and get us, yep. um, and then we can, we'll be ready for a duck. Quack, quack, quack. All right. Head down to, uh, Barney. What is it? Oh, okay. I was making sure it wasn't stare at the microwave day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and if she doesn't let you buy, buy a duck, then we got to upgrade. Stardew keeps, uh... Crashing, so I'm gonna reset my computer, see if that fixes the problem. And if not, then I hopefully that will. <laughs> okay. See you in a minute. So I will be see you in a minute. All right. We're just animals. A duck. Quack quack. Jesus. So Kitty, tell tell everyone what kind of um how your week has been. What have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I caught the exciting thing going around COVID. <laughs> I don't know if you caught the it. panini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I narrowly escaped just in time to catch it at the end. Oh, God. Except that I don't think it's the end. Yeah, I don't oh, think it's the end get, either. It, it is letting us buy the duck, so. Oh, good. I'll name it. What do you do? You have a name list or. No, no, we didn't have a name list for, for Stardew Valley. Um, but you should name it Re, R-H-E-E, -E, for my puppy. Yes! Love Re, Re the duck. I love it. I can't wait to go give it kisses. <laughs> yep. You gotta give it lots of little pets. Uh -oh. Yes, definitely. Well, I'm so sorry you thought you, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry that you got COVID, Kitty. I know that uh, that I've had it a, a couple of times now, despite being oh all vaccinated God. and boosted and all that shit. And it's not been fun any of the times. Um, so I hope your symptoms have not been too bad. Um, they've. Oh my God! You know, I'm gonna say my answer. But first, let me say that I didn't know that ducks look like chicks when they're chicks. Yeah. <laughs> so we already had a duck, and I oh. didn't realize it. Oh, oops. That's okay. Now we have two. Us more. We're more likely to get the duck feather and and duck uh, egg that we need. That's true. Yeah. Um. But everyone in my family, except me and my husband, have had COVID. Um many times but this is my first time having COVID and we decided to go big this time and every single person in my house got it together so um I have had COVID while also helping my children with COVID and oh, there was God. projectile vomiting <laughs> it was just Beautiful. loads of fun mm. we had one big family pile of sick I don't know. It was a bonding. <laughs> you know, it's not supposed to be a group game. It's supposed to be a single player game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were good about that. I don't know what happened. I feel like we haven't really changed too much about it. I guess it's just easier to get. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's literally become more <laughs> contagious, personally. 
Yeah, it has to be because I, I still wear a mask. I'm pretty good about it. I wash my hands. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I, legit, I think it's just become more contagious. I don't think there's anything else, you know, to it. Yeah, I don't think it helps either when you have kids because they go to school and there's not a lot you can do. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. this year alone, my daughter's had it three times. Holy crap. And I'm, I'm sure that has to do with her being in school. Yeah, in middle school. So it's like, what so are you going to do? Like... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, kids are going to, you know, be in close contact. They're going to touch up on each other. There's like no way to really stop it with that many kids. And I'm trying to be, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to handle it anymore because I, I, I do want to be careful at the same time. It's like, well, you're going to get it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Landon, are you back? I am. I'm trying to load uh, Stardew Valley, so we'll see if it loads. Okay. Landon's poor computer is just having a time. It does not like it or me right now. <laughs> and Stardew's not a taxing game, so you know, it shouldn't have an issue. It shouldn't, and yet. <laughs> Let's see. In that code in. Landon, are you back in school? I am. It's an unfortunate reality. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Did it actually I, open? It opened. Hey, I see you. Oh, look at that. Yay. Uh, yes, I am um back in school. It's last week was my first full week um and it was a lot um <laughs> the children are crazy um, yes. more so than last year i um i broke up my first fight on was that yesterday i feel like it was yesterday oh uh gosh. like full on full on fist fight no it was two what days uh yeah a fist fight <laughs> yeah Oh no. Uh, and it was the third day of school. <gasps> um, so we'll we'll see how uh, how we survive through this year. We'll see. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, they do be they do be a little crazy than children. Um, you are you are more powerful than me, my friend, doing that job. Yeah, it's I just. I have I heard that people them. are more aggressive. So the way that I'm looking at it is um, these children have not really been in school and been allowed to like physically develop their physical affection for one another since third grade, mm -hmm. realistically. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of a sudden they have the emotional, like they have the emotional and physical regulation of third graders, but the bodies of sixth graders Mm. uh and so like bodies of sixth graders are way more just inherently physical and and more dangerous than third graders uh but third graders are like play rough it's just that they're not strong mm -hmm. so it's it's an interesting it's an interesting time <laughs> mm. yeah mm -hmm. but no i'm good i like my crew and i'm excited to i'm excited to see what this year has so uh any of you out there just like be kind to teachers right now it's it's hard <laughs> yeah my god because you uh, have to have so much patience and then yeah. but like you've also been through the pandemic you've also been yeah. struggling and burnt out yeah it's like how do you help kids with trauma while also traumatized <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a real interesting balance, balancing act, uh, that has no good answer. Yeah. Just... I think it's, it's crazy. We, we talk about this at work a lot too, with like, um, obviously all my learners are adults, so they're not getting into fist fights, but that doesn't mean they aren't like weirdly, uh, strangely cruel and aggressive in ways that didn't used to be true. Yeah. Um, and we talk about this all the time. Like we have all been through trauma, even if you didn't personally have anything happen to you, like just the fact that everything changed for so long, like it's traumatic. And we've just got to remember that everyone comes at that from a different place. Yeah. And yes. we like, 
we as people no longer know how to like interact in some levels yeah because we didn't publicly interact for a year yes um and it's exhausting to try to like go back to what we were doing before and for a lot of people it's impossible like yeah i really feel bad for the kid like for the people that were in their early 20s that lost out on like like going out because all of a sudden they're they're now in their mid 20s and at a very different level emotionally but, like mm -hmm. missed out on all those opportunities that a lot of the young 20s allows you to have yes hmm. so it's just interesting yeah yeah it's very interesting uh lunar thank you so much for the the lurk we love our lurkers hey, here um, and I'm so glad that you're back also, Lunar, and that you've been, you know, been here for uh, a little bit now. Um, she, Lunar was uh, not present in the streams, was kind of like offline for quite a while. But uh, but she's got a new job now and doing really Ooh. good, so she's back online. Heck yeah. Someone's got to have Heck good news. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, it seems like we've all had kind of crappy weeks. Um, sorry to be a, a downer stream, but I, I want to talk about the pandemic more because like this has been weighing on my mind a lot and, um, and, you know, cancel me for this, whatever. Like, I don't care at this point, but, um, I've kind of like stopped worrying about it. There's, there's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. And I don't have brain space to like do all the things anymore. I just yeah. don't. So, so I just don't, um, you know, Every clearly, no one's interested in in uh, the reality that the pandemic is still here, and so, okay, fine, I will just pretend like it's not here too, you know. Yeah, I mean, well, it's hard because yeah, the rest of the world hasn't. So how the hell can you keep up that stamina when it's an incredibly isolating thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to try to do? Um, yep. I I feel like instead of solving or not that there's any way to solve it, but instead of working towards some solution, we've decided to focus on symptoms. So we've learned how to live with COVID without treating it or getting rid of it or helping it. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, we, a lot of us did, because like vaccines, right? And that might not have treated it, but it certainly has lessened the expected effects of it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so we we did as a society figure that out. And now, yeah, it's the same thing as we knew that this was going to happen because it was going to be like the flu. Like, mm -hmm. this is what we got. Yeah, <laughs> We're just dealing with it. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's the sentiment I feel exactly like, you know, it's just it's just too, too much, you know, uh, to deal with when the rest of the world refuses to deal with it. Yeah. So it's like, OK, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I just don't. I feel bad for, I don't know if it's all teachers, but you guys lost your five days paid COVID leave in a lot um, of places. Yeah, we did not in Maine, luckily, because um, our union fought for it to be in our contract, or at least in my district. Yeah, but that's like um, unique to your specific yeah, district, right? Yeah, that's my specific district. So as far as other others around the world, absolutely. And then also uh, free lunches. Uh, oh, yep. We had free lunches for every kid and that went away as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep, we lost that this year around here too. That's painful. Yeah, I definitely um, feel bad for the kids on that which, one. Which sucks because that should be, that should be the minimum. Like kids should be getting lunch for free. Yeah, uh, no, I agree. Oops. And what's the oops? Fact that they don't sucks. I was I was watering, then I realized the corn's ready, and I harvested it, and for, like I wasn't expecting to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, I messed up. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna go fish again today uh, because we need to unlock the bus, and so we need to get to the 25. Um, and I don't think I think we need 50 more. Actually, there's let me like, just double check. There's like a bunch of grass up here. Do you want me to harvest it? So um, we get... do we have do we have space in our in our hay thing so it'll um, have hay? Let me double check. Okay. Yeah, we need twenty five thousand in the vault, so we need f like five, or we need like three thousand more. So I'm gonna go fishing today, um, and get some money, money, money. Uh oh, yeah, we've only used four. 
Yeah, so if, if there's, I mean, you can harvest it if you want to. Just if our if our silo is full, then it's going to be kind of a waste. But we, I mean, we kind of might as well. Also, like, it's all going to die when winter comes. So that's another thing we have to consider, too. We could also see if we wanted to buy another silo. Get more yeah. Stuff. Yeah, we can buy another silo if you want to go check and see if we have the stuff for it. I'm sure it takes a certain amount of wood and stone and stuff. I think I'll do stone things. Um, I got some gold, too, that we can sell unless we're saving gold. Um, I don't, I, I was kind of saving it in case people wanted to upgrade their oh. stuff, but it's like, I mean, I think that, uh, I don't have, I don't, I only have a basic backpack. I don't know if that would be something. Oh. I don't know if other people don't. I, I upgraded my bag all the way. Kitty, I think your okay. bag is upgraded all the way too, right? Um, I have two rows, but I've never had a problem with just two rows. Okay, so, so I'm going to go update mine from one row to two rows. Okay, sounds good. Because that is something that is, I, makes it really hard to go mining. <laughs> ah, thank you, Alpha Tiff. Um, I really appreciate that. And hello, it's been a second since I've seen you in the stream. How are you doing today? Oh, chicken. Yes, I, I try to make my stardew very aesthetic so that it's beautiful and pink. <laughs> and skip the fishing mini game because fuck that shit. <laughs> I was like, when we first started playing, I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the fishing game. Love fishing game. <laughs> you thought, right? <laughs> and I couldn't. I could not stand it. Yeah, I couldn't stand it. But you know what has a good fishing mini game? Here we go. Karen's obsession of the week. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Kitty, are you playing? Landon, I know you're not because you're not really a video gamer, so you probably haven't even heard of it yet. But Kitty, are you playing this game? I am not, but I've been looking at the pictures and they're gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you or your husband, do you guys have um, Xbox Live? The, I mean, the Xbox like Game Pass thing? I don't. My roommate has an Xbox, not me. But I can okay. always watch what she does. You should, okay, because the only reason I ask is because if you have the Xbox Game Pass, like it's included in your Game Pass, but um, but it's okay because it's worth like the 30 bucks to get it on Steam. Like, Kitty, you got to get this game. You got to play it. Like, I'm just telling you, it's like, it's like, it's Animal Crossing, but it's better than Animal Crossing. And I wish I was lying, but it legit is better than Animal Crossing. Is it's it an like Animal Crossing -like Valley game. peaceful? It's definitely peaceful. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a lot like Stardew Valley, except in the sense that they're both like cozy, chill, fun games where you build up relationships and, you know, gather materials and farm and stuff. Um, but it's definitely closer to an Animal Crossing like game because it is also a lot about your outfits and decorating. Uh, like, oh, it's kind of like Sims. Yeah, it's kind. It is a simulation game. I would say it's an Animal Crossing like. It's the most the game that's got most in common with is Animal Crossing. Landon, because you love Disney, you should also get this game. I'm telling you, you'll sit a ton of hours <laughs> into it. Perhaps, although unfortunately, I just got kicked from this game. No, uh, I crashed. So I think I'm gonna have to yeet out for this. Okay, game. <laughs> I'm so All right. sorry. I'm sorry, Landon, uh, that your computer I'm is gonna, being crappy. No, I'm gonna take my computer because it's something's wrong with it because it should be able to run this so yes and it's run it every other time without any issues it has mm -hmm. so hopefully i can take this and see what's going up with it i think it's an overheating issue is he gonna take everything. it to the apple store yeah okay ah. all right well, well i'm sending you good, good vibes stream. thank the you, apple store yes. is you. yep all right thank you oh and did you put did, did we have a oh yeah you put it in the chat i put it in the chat okay. so you guys have something for that okay all Thank right. you, Landon. I'll Bye, see guys. you later. Bye. Bye. So yeah, but Kitty, she... you've got to get this game. Um, there, It's on every platform, uh, but it doesn't run super well on Switch. Some people have a lot of crashing issues, so I would just recommend getting it for PC, honestly. Well, what is it called again? Disney Dreamlight Valley. Okay. Pictures, I'm trying to remember the game that I played. I remember it was really popular and it was a computer game as well that was Disney based. I, I'm sh I can't believe I don't remember it. I want to say it's like tune something. Tune something. I don't know. 
The only other, like, Disney-ish game that I've played is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so I don't really know. I'm gonna have to Google it, otherwise it's gonna bother me the whole time I'm streaming. Okay, okay. Well, and then tell me when you find it so we can know what game you're talking about. I feel like it's like a feature. There's like a wizard. Wizard 101? Wizards 101. And the, was that a Disney game? It was... I feel like it was, but maybe I'm... Just oh, confusing I know what things. game you're talking about. Okay, there was like a Disney kids MMO game called like Toontown or something like that. Yes. And it was kind of yes. like Wizards 101, but it was Disney-fied. Yes. I never okay, played it. So that's what it was. I never played it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> it was just like Wizards 101. And actually it was a lot like Kingdom Hearts. We kind of just went from place to place helping the characters, unlocking new areas. Mm -hmm. or like every game i guess mm -hmm. yeah well i mean you definitely do that in disney dreamlight valley but in between you're doing things like gathering resources and farming and mining and um and decorating you know just like you would in animal crossing right i i, do, I like when you get the characters in there and it's i don't know it's like combining your worlds yeah yeah, and you definitely do that in this. Like, the game, the first, like, three kind of groups of characters that you go get is you go to, like, Wally's world and you get Wally. And you can go to the uh, Ratatouille world and get Remy. And you can go to Moana world and you get uh, Moana and uh, uh, Maui. I like that you have yourself as the avatar i think that's something special about those types of games too that yes. it's you playing you're not playing a character mm -hmm. i totally agree yeah. yeah and so you you can design your clothes and your 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 stuff and actually this is the other thing that's kind of like blew my mind about this game it's got one of the best character customizations i have like seen in a long time I spent a stupid amount of time customizing my character to make her look like the most ridiculous, like, cutest e-girl ever. And she looks fucking adorable. She does look really cute. I, <laughs> I thought the pigtails were super cute. And I love how the pigtails look with the Mickey ears, because, of course, it's a Disney game where you dress up. So there's lots of different Mickey ears in the game. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want to look super cute with your Mickey ears, I definitely recommend the Twin Tails hairstyle. I like the look of it. I have a feeling it's one of those games that you start playing and then it's three in the morning. Yes. <laughs> you feel a little bit bad, but not too bad because you had fun. <laughs> yes, um, that's exactly what it's been like. Like I, I stopped playing the game, like since I've gotten it, I stopped playing the game because there's something else I have to do or because I start falling asleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I am, uh, my hand has been forced. <laughs> to stop playing every time I've stopped. <laughs> That's okay. Poor kitty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Listen, you've had it more than me, so I've, I've got catching up to do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I don't recommend it. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm exaggerating when I say this, but I do feel like I've gotten stupider because of COVID. Like, I think COVID brain is really real. Like, I think I'm dumber now. Um, and I know that sounds like so crazy to say, but um, but I it, I it feels true. I feel slower. Like, I don't know if that's the trauma of everything that's happened with the pandemic or the fact that I've had COVID a couple of times and it's literally like messed with my brain, but I think it's true. You think you kept like a brain fog? Yeah, I think I did. I, I can see feeling that way for sure. I definitely feel like something definitely changed about my whole personality in the yeah. pandemic. But I feel like I got way shorter temper. Like I used to be really let people walk on me, do whatever. Me too. But now I'm like, if I'm in line in a store and someone is being rude to someone, I'm the person that's like, you need to quit it. We're all here. Yes. I don't have no patience for nothing anymore. No patience. I used to be like so patient, like stupidly patient. Now I got, I got like none. I'm like, oh my God, just get out the way. Or, oh my God, shut the fuck up. Like I, and I never used to have those type of feelings, but now like I start feeling that way and I have to catch myself like, oh, 
no, Karen, you really don't need to say anything. Just wait. Just be patient. Um, yes. Yeah. Like I, I sometimes I'm like I feel like I I'm, I feel like uh, bitch mode, and I never you really used to have like an, a, a bitch mode that took like that. It usually took like a lot, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've had to contemplate um, a few times in recent times where I'm like, am I being a bitch though, or am I? doing the right thing and it's just hard (laughs) (laughs) I don't know I don't know that's a good question it says it says I'm waiting on you kitty I don't know what's going on in your end you're good I had went to bed and then um and then I was talking (laughs) that's okay it it just says waiting on other players um I think but yeah that's how I feel too like my the amount of patience I have has like it's like drastically reduced I like it I I used I used to be so much more patient yeah, I, I feel like I'm more patient in other areas, like in parenting, I, I understand a lot more about like giving them grace because of everything that they're going through. Not that I was like mean before, but I feel like I'm kinder to my kids and my family. I appreciate that like a lot more. Like, Yeah. I don't no know. worries. Thank you, Alpha Tiff. I just fixed it. I literally typed all the stuff in and then I just didn't click the button to push it out to twitch um like i said i feel like the pandemic is maybe dubber i don't know all right kitty i'm gonna go spend all of our money so we can unlock the bus to get to the I'm desert work for some more so you can spend it okay thank you you're a really good husband <laughs> i'm trying <laughs> working hard chopping logs <laughs> <laughs> work in the mines toiling uh. away yeah, every story in this town is sad. So this is a rainy day in Stardew Valley. It's a perfect topic. <laughs> That's true. Oh my gosh. But it's just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like, I don't know. Um, I just, I guess I've never had something that, that lingered like this before, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's just weird. And it, I feel like it, it took me having COVID a couple of times before I started feeling this way. Yay, we got another star. Oh, an achievement star. Well, yeah. Well, and a a star in the community center. Because we finished the vault. Lovely. Yay! So now we have the mines? Well, we'll have it tomorrow. Well, we we can get... Yeah, we can take the bus over to the desert. So we can get into Skull Cavern. Um, We can buy from Sandy... Um, I can get the last fish so we can get the sand fish thing in there. Um, yeah. We're accomplishing so much. We truly, truly are. I think I'm starting to remember where each chest is supposed to be too. So I'm not just wandering aimlessly. <laughs> um, also I got us a crystallarium, but I don't know what kind of, what crystals do we want to duplicate? I usually in my game, I duplicate Jade, um, because you can trade the Jade for stairs at the, uh, at the, um, what you call it at the desert on Fridays. I think it's on Fridays. Oh, I did not know that. So I usually duplicate Jade, but I don't know if we want to do something else. What, what do you, how do you use your crystallariums in your game? I usually just do it with diamonds cause they sell for a lot. Mm. But um, I don't. Can you use stairs in the desert? Well, so the way I use stairs is to get down to Skull Cavern fast. I uh, see. I tried. I thought I tried to use stairs and it didn't work. I'm now that makes a lot more sense. I wonder why they didn't work for me. I don't know, but I use them to get down Skull Cavern faster. Hmm. To get to level one hundred. Yeah. I still haven't done that because. I can't do it because the stairs didn't work, but they didn't work one time and I never tried again. So now maybe I'm oh, just Oh, try again. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think it was, um, <laughs> it was like that. Do we not have a um, milk bucket? I, I don't have one. Okay. I haven't seen one in the chest, but it could be one of the chests. I haven't milked yeah. the cows though, now that you say that. I peeked and I didn't see one. I bet you it's on Kendra's character. I'm going to go buy us another milk bucket if I can. I don't know how much they are. Hmm. I'm right by Marnie's if you want me to. Ah, 
have I I'm in Marnie's, but we need five hundred more oh. gold. You, you yeah, you'd have to sell a lot of stuff in your trash can. And time to fish. Get some more. I'm gold. gonna process some of our fancy rocks. Okay, sounds good. It's only a thousand gold, but I literally I, we just spent it all on the vault, so mm -hmm. it's like it's not a lot of gold, things. but still, yes. We've really come a lot. I feel like at the end of this is the first year. We have yeah, we're still in year, year one. We're, we're moving and grooving though. We are. We're, I'm really curious to see how the garage display um, works. Let me look at the calendar. Because we've got that in a, in a couple of days. Stardew Valley Fair. Um, I mm -hmm. don't know how the garage display is going to work with us playing together. I've never done it on multiplayer. We should probably look for our best items. I, I think we yeah. have a silver corn. I have a gold corn in my bag. But yeah, we need to try to find gold stuff. And it's got to be a variety of stuff. Not gonna be able to find that in the trash can this time. No, I don't think so. I don't think we can <laughs> um, put trash bread in our garage display. Do you know how to say that word? I don't even know if I'm saying it right. That's how I've always said it to myself. I don't. I don't know. I've um, always relied on my voice to text to read it out loud to me, but sometimes she says things wrong. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like Abigail's it's Gail's birthday. It is. It is. I guess at some point we're going to be so far in the community center that I'll actually start using my items to give gifts to the villagers. I have stopped gifting Harvey. I, I just didn't have time to be a good farmer and start with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. Soon there will be more time for flirting because we'll be really far in the community center. Mm -hmm. It's fine. He's a busy doctor. Yeah. I understand. Probably. He'll probably be like, oh gosh, has it really been that long? And he'll be okay with it. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part of the game is no matter how long you've been married to Harvey, he always charges you for hospital stuff. Yes! <laughs> if you marry Harvey, you should get free hospital. Like, not even a discount. Nothing. Nothing. It's ridiculous. And I know that's not real life. Because my dad was an right? optometrist growing up, and he would we would just go in, and he would just use his equipment, and um, you know, no no charge or anything. We just do it after hours. Because they, because yeah. I don't know exactly how it works in Stardew Valley, but anyway, a lot of doctors um, own their actual equipment, and then they just like lease a space, you know, to practice in. So. You said optometrist, right? Yeah, yeah. I had the weirdest experience at my optometrist, and now I have to tell you. Oh, okay. Tell me. And so this is probably not weird for some people, but it was the first time it ever happened to me. So I, I was at my eye doctor, and they brought me back, and they just did, like, the normal puff-in-your-eye stuff. Mm -hmm. And then they put me in a room, and it was just me, and, like, the nurse was like, okay, the doctor will be with you shortly. And she turned the TV on and left. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess there's like a TV while I'm waiting. And then the TV was like counting down until the doctor appeared. And what? I was like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> and then eventually, like after a long while, the doctor appeared on the TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yeah. And they were using some like long distance virtual thing to use the eye machine on me. And they were talking to me through the TV. They weren't in the room at all. <laughs> what? And they were like, one or two? And I was like, um, one <laughs> TV doctor. It was like the Wizard of Oz. Oh my God. That is so strange. So it was like telehealth, but you went into the office for it? Yeah, I was in the actual office. Like I drove there and then there was no doctor. It was all TV doctors. What? We could have done that at so home. Fun. Yeah, I wish, except I didn't have the eye equipment. Oh, so. that's true. I guess you'd have to go in for the equipment. Yeah, Alpha Tiff, <laughs> that is how my face is right now. Like, she's doing like the um big eye emoji. I cannot, yeah. I, I'm like, what? I was so uncomfortable, but I didn't want to be like, I, 
I kind of felt old. I was like, is this just like young people are used to this and old people are not? Or is this okay to feel weird? Because I feel weird. <laughs> Super weird. Lunar, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Lunar, if you do want to play with us today, you are more than welcome. You know, it's all in the farmer chat and discord, all the informations. If you want to um, get in the farm, if you want to voice chat, whatever, you're more than welcome. I know you you have a spot in the in the farm. Alba Tiff, by the way, if you want to join us too, you can. We can make a house for you. I actually think I, I already pre-made an extra house for if anybody ever wanted to join in the future. Uh -huh. Yeah, Kitty, that is so weird. I, I have not experienced that. I mean, I've experienced um, telehealth, but from my house right not like going into the doctor and like that's where you do it so that's weird yeah like if i go in into the doctor's office i expect the doctor to be there. i don't know i've yeah i've not experienced going into an, an office and then it's a telehealth thing it, i think that maybe it would have been less unsettling if there wasn't like a tv program that counts down and like it shows you like surreal pictures and videos as it counts down so it it felt like a movie it felt like a dystopian movie where after the doctor leaves like i was not gonna have my eyes or something that is so weird yeah i don't know i would have been kind of creeped out too like no joke um so that's the future <laughs> yeah i guess <laughs> i guess but i it solves a problem they had a shortage of doctors the only doctor in their practice left for another practice and so it was either no eye doctor or tvi doctor okay well tvi doctor it is then okay i've got one two three four five items that are no six six good items we could use for our garage display that are like gold star or decent um, so I've got a tiger trout, I've got a gold common mushroom, a gold corn, an amethyst, a gold egg, a gold mayo. Um, what do, what do you have that you think might be an okay for the garage display? I put everything in the chest. Okay. So, um, that, I'll take but I've a been peek. foraging Ooh. and stuff. I'll, oh, I can there's an ice pip. around too. Okay. Well, I just, and I got an ice pip, um, I see that you have in there, so... I'm uh I'm changing that from the fish that I think we should use. Cuz so we got to have a variety. Oh, here's jelly. We could put jelly in there. Yeah, and I it's our jelly looked good. Yeah, and it's nine items. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So that's seven items. Checking. That's empty. That's empty. Any milks? No, we need to get a milk pail lunar. I think I think that um, either we never bought a milk pail or the milk pail is on Kendra's character. <laughs> and she's not here today. I didn't hear from her. I assume she is too pregnant to hang out with us today. Um, that would be my okay. guess. She's really close to the time. October. Her big yes. day. Yes, it's going to be very, very, very soon. I mean, like, I'm literally expecting the message from her um that uh that she's having contractions like any day that'll be exciting mm -hmm. yep <clears throat> okay i'll go to bed oh you're already there uh, Make room. gonna protect the chat from trolls thank you lunar appreciate your service we got the bus we got the bus Aww. Now Pam has a job again. Come. Yeah, <laughs> I do love that too. Pam's story is it? Are we okay with spoiling Pam's yeah, story? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about it. I mean, the game's been out for so long. Um, yeah, we can spoil the Pam story. So then, pumpkins. oh, look at those pumpkins! Great time Beautiful. for pumpkins. Um, after she reconciles with her daughter and. I feel like it implies like she stops drinking or maybe she says she stops drinking. But um, then she gets her house and her whole yeah. life is supposed to be perfect. Um, but then I go in her house and she still has beer everywhere. Yeah. Um, Shane is the same way. Like he gets a lot better if you marry him. But his room is still like, you know, covered in it and he has the beer and stuff. Um, I, I think it just I think it's just like Stardew Valley's way of acknowledging that like 
when you have a substance abuse problem, it doesn't just go away, even if you get better. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit realistic, I feel like. Yeah. I feel some of them should have been able, well, I don't know. I guess that's kind it's of It's tough, the right? It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Because it always yeah. sticks with you, even mm -hmm. if you get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The threat of relapse is always there. And like, even if you get it under control to where you still use the substance, but you use it in a way that like, it's not destroying your life anymore. Like, you know, you're still using and, you know, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is good to know. Doctor, TV doctor in clinic is an uncomfortable experience. Yeah, I think it would be super uncomfortable. Like if you go into the clinic and then the doctor's on the TV, like that's weird. I totally yeah, agree. It I'm glad to have it validated though, because I wasn't sure if I was being <laughs> sensitive. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Lunar, that's too funny. Lunar says I was moving my house and looking at your cursor. Wonder why I wasn't moving. Yeah, look at your own screen, Lunar. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lunar, by the way, you are you playing Disney Dreamlight Valley? I feel like you would like it if you're not playing it. Um, it's definitely up your alley. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, we got a milk pail again now, so I'll go milk the that's cows. Right. I'll feed the cows since I'm here. Okay. Sorry, cows, that you've not been milked. I'm not sure. Probably I be? so full. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lunar, you should play Disney Dreamlight Valley. You sh it's on like every platform. There's videos on the internet. You they'll, they'll tell you all about it. I'll be happy to tell you all about it. But you should absolutely be playing it. It's a amazing. I love it. I'm playing you the, wolf bring the game. werewolves. Yeah. Okay, we got some milk. Did, um, are you bringing a pumpkin to the community center? Yes, I have one in my thing. I was going to bring it. We didn't get a large egg, but we're starting to get white eggs. Oh, you have pumpkins over here, too. Oh, yay. I heard werewolves. There's no werewolves in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm sorry. But there are Disney characters. Oh, I meant to put the milk pail in there. Not the milk. There we go. Okay, now I'll take this pumpkin to the community center. Yes, okay. I'm gonna invent so a werewolf princess now. Luna, you do it. You do it. It is a great idea. Can I bring the star items that we have in other chests to consolidate it somewhere or just remember where they are? Um, we probably should consolidate it somewhere. Let's see. The Let's top see what's left in this arm chest. has a bunch of empty chests. Okay. I'm going to go put our star items in there that I have. And I'll bring the ones over here. Okay. Okay. So there, I put a bunch of the stuff in there that I thought might be good for the garage display in that top left chest. And then um, we can kind of figure out, looking at that, what we think it actually is good. Yes, it is on Game Pass. Hey, how's it going, Cookie? Happy to see you here. That's how I'm playing it. I'm playing it on Game Pass because I already have a Game Pass. Um, and I'm really fucking addicted. I can't stop, won't stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Literally, I've only stopped playing that game to either take care of other commitments or because I start to get tired and, and passing out. That's it. Otherwise, I keep playing and keep playing. <laughs> Do you hear the theme music in your head at all times? Um, well, there's not just one theme music. It plays a lot of Disney tunes and things, which is, I'll tell you guys, that's why I'm not streaming it, by the way. Um, I did when mm -hmm. think when it came out, like, oh, this might be a good idea to do a stream or two um, or something. But, uh, but I'm not because the streamer mode turns off the music. So... We cannot have that. Oh. Yeah, it's a shame. But yeah, it's got a lot of little Disney tunes that'll play in the background. There's not just like one theme music. Um, so yeah. But Mickey runs around whistling the Steamboat Willie tune, and so that keeps getting stuck in my head. But you know what? It doesn't matter, because what's super, super stuck in my head right now is Khan. 
It's got oh. the juice. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I just got rid of it. It's back. And now it's back. Um, I have the, I don't know if you've heard of this story, the Reddit guy that um, had made a playlist because he was kind of awkward in bed. And <gasps> the only way he could find his rhythm was his special sexual playlist. <laughs> have you heard this? I've heard it, but tell it, tell, tell everybody, this is hilarious. Okay, so for two years he's dating a girl and he plays this every single time. And eventually she says, you know, I, I just can't have sex to this music over and over again. I don't even- It's like one it. specific song. She hates one specific song on the playlist. Yes, which apparently is his big climatic song, and he needs this song <laughs> to finish. And um, he's devastated that she doesn't like it. And um, But he agrees not to play it. But the next time that they are having sex, he still is using the same beat to the song, <laughs> and she recognized it. And I'm like, how does she recognize this song? And then he plays the song, and it's like... <laughs> And it's the worst song I've ever heard. And I Kitty, don't your rendition how... of it was perfect. Yes, that's exactly what the song sounds like. And you think that she's just making a funny noise to the beat? Like, no, that is the noise of the song and the beat of the song. That's it. That's the song. There's like a sad trombone at some point. They're just like, <laughs> But it's literally, it's like that. And you feel so bad for this girl. But then my husband was like, well, their, their family is just awful. Because I guess the sister found out, because he used his real name. And um, found out that he had put this on Reddit and that it went viral. And that um, he had shared this playlist with their parents. <gasps> And not telling them what it was. So they're like, they've heard this music and now like the whole family's upset about it. And she broke up with him. But he decided to release the entire playlist since it was already out there. Oh, my God. I did not hear the second part of the story where like the family was involved in stuff. Holy shit. This poor guy. Um, I can't believe it. He said he was upset, not because she didn't like it, but because she waited two years and lied the whole time. Yeah, but. I don't know. I saw that, and then I was kind of like, like, yeah, I can get why that's frustrating to realize that for two years you've been doing sex wrong, but also, like, it's a super <laughs> awkward conversation, and to me that just means that she must have really liked him to put up with that wham, 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 wham for two years. So, I don't know. I kind of think he overreacted a little bit being that upset. He was just probably feeling really sensitive because he thought he was like really that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he posts on Reddit and everyone thinks that like is taking her and everyone's taking her aside. And I'm sure that hurt a lot. Um, the funniest thing I saw, and I don't know if it's real or not, but I had heard that that song was playing on the radio when Queen Elizabeth's death was announced. So ah! in the middle of it, they announced it, and then they went back to the song. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, <laughs> Before I so... say too much, Kitty, Kitty, do you have uh, do you have any any thoughts or feelings about uh, Queen Elizabeth's passing? And now we're gonna have Charles the Third. It has made for some fantastic jokes. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I do not like Charles, and he will be the end of the monarchy. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah, anybody that's actually, like, sad about the queen dying, like, sorry, this is not a safe space for you. Um, <laughs> let me just be real. Um, yeah, I'm not. I think it's I think it's hilarious, and I think that, like, it's kind of ridiculous that the UK still even has a monarchy after all the atrocities it's committed in the past. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like, it's 2022. Are we not beyond this? I don't understand. Um. Do, do you know that in the castle, they didn't even have to follow like um, the laws that came into place for discrimination Luna against underscore um, ethnicity? Ah, hang on, hang on. Sub to uh -huh. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the gift sub, Lunar. I really appreciate Lunar. it. Look at that. Look at that subscriber emote with Riri Lick in the screen. We love it. Thank you so much, Lunar. We have to do a pin. We have to do a pin. Um, so at the end of the stream, Lunar, um, we'll get a pin out of the pin box for you uh, for that gift sub. Thank you so much. Um, I, I'm going to say Lunar, Lunar gave that 
um, for uh, for saying good riddance to the queen. Uh, <laughs> Short live the king. I mean, he's like a hundred years old. I'm exaggerating a little bit, not by much, right? He's like really old. He's horrible. And people were saying, and I definitely agree that it just feels different. It feels worse to have a king. Just, I don't, I don't want that male. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 2022. Kitty, that's sexist. <laughs> I, I, I don't want it. And I don't want people bowing to Camilla. <laughs> so that's where I draw the line. Kit, okay, you guys heard it here. Kitty said more female dictators. More female dictators. Less yes. male energy. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but listen. Up until two years ago, they didn't even have to adhere to equal rights for um, ethnicity or sex or anything in within the castle. They were exempt. What? Why? Until two years ago. I don't know. Cuz. <laughs> what? Cause. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Um, when they were passed in the 70s, they were exempt for four decades after those laws were passed in the 70s. The heck? And they were like, yeah, that's cool with us. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> I can't. I did not know this. And um, and I, I, feel, I feel like this is both on brand for the UK monarchy, but also somehow still disappointing. But yeah, we've been sharing, we've been sharing the, uh, at least my favorite uh, posts uh, making fun of the monarchy in the pineapple pizza channel on my discord because I think it's hilarious and I just don't understand I don't understand why they're not just like you know what we don't have to we don't have to keep he's gone and we can stop doing this like we can stop now like you know you, you could do that UK you could you could choose to stop they're not going to sell those tiny little saucers <laughs> with her face on it <laughs> they don't have a big funeral <laughs> I just don't like I just don't like they don't have to coronate uh Charles. They they didn't have to do that, you know. He could have just like he could have just he's going to die soon anyways. Like the heck, it's so weird. Monarchy's so weird, you guys. And with the internet being what it is now, you cannot get away with anything and they're already mad about all the stolen jewels and everything that they've taken over the years. Yeah. And they're going to pull those jewels out again in front of everyone. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was 12 a.m. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's 12 a.m. <laughs> sorry, I guess uh, I guess ranting about <laughs> about the UK monarchy kind of gets us forgetting of what time it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I don't even know. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, it's going to be, Charles is going to be the king for maybe like two seconds, and then it's going to be William, I guess, is next. William, it's Ooh. it's up to you. We're counting on you, friend. You can end it. You can end it here. You just, you just don't get coronated. Just don't get coronated. Harry tried. Yeah. Oh, hey, the mines. Yep, the glittering boulder is getting removed. Beautiful. So we can, um... I think that opens up the panning for gold, which I literally never do. Do you ever do that? I never do that. Sometimes. I did it in the Ginger Island because you can get bones and you need the bones. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess I, I have done it on Ginger Island because it's actually worth it there. You blow my mind about the stairs, though. I can't forget that. I got to remember that. I've been yeah, trying to yeah. do it manually. Yeah, it's really, really hard. Oh, I, I always forget to grab fish. the pan. <laughs> Lunar, I know what you mean. Especially when Ginger Island came out, and then um, I would always forget because I was so used to not using that stupid thing. Um, that Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Yes, we will. We will have the night items for our grange display. Kitty, if you want to go take a look at what I put in there and try to figure out what our what exactly our nine items should be, maybe. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven gold items, and then two silver items so okay so we do uh, have nine we, items but two of them are corn we want to have a variety yeah so we don't want two corns in there i mean it does got the juice but it does got the juice <laughs> but we i mean having lots of corns is not corntastic um we only want one corn we can't stop saying it at my house every meal every meal <laughs> if, if it's good food we'll be we'll be like it got the juice like we had steaks last <laughs> night and it was like we were talking about the steaks. We were like, oh, the seasoning didn't really take the way we wanted, but it's okay because it got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just can't stop. We can't stop. <laughs> it's a meme at our house now. 
There was a lady that said that she lives in farm area on TikTok, of course. That's where everything in my life comes from. Mm -hmm. And the farmer was delivering her CSA and she was like, oh, it's corn. And he had never heard the song because I don't know. <gasps> and she was like, it's got the juice. And he's like, you know about <laughs> corn juice? And I guess that's like a thing. And oh. so he came back so excited to share his corn juice with her. <laughs> oh, and she just meant, she was just memeing. <laughs> She's like, so now I have corn jelly. So she um, made, so she's got corn juice and she made some corn jelly with it. Yeah, I guess he made her the corn jelly and now she can, I don't know what that would taste like, but it looks like if someone had juiced corn and made jelly with it. I mean, so it like literally, it just looks like corn jelly, like what you would imagine corn jelly mm -hmm. would look like. It, wow. Except because it's corn juice, it actually kind of looks like a urine sample that's solidified. Uh-huh. That's what I'm imagining. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm imagining it looks like, um, you know, yeah, nasty. It look it looks nasty in my brain. <laughs> I gotta. This one is too full. I'm gonna move this stuff to a different one. Sad. Oh my god! For a second, no I <laughs> I had forgotten that um, that the bear. <laughs> That there's a bear in our minds area, and I was like, oh, for a second, like <laughs> I had forgot. Final boss. <laughs> oh, I got bad luck today, but like it's t I need to finish the mines. Oh, I forgot to get a recipe yesterday. Uh, oh no, I got the recipe yesterday. I mean, I need to. We need to upgrade my house at some point too, so we have the kitchen. I guess only I can do that since I have the main house. About, I gotta look up how much that is. Hello, Napoli. Oof, my health is bad. I got hit too many times. Trying to get to the bottom? Yeah, but yeah, I've got bad luck today, so I don't really, I don't know why I attempted this. This is a bad idea. I'm not gonna get five more floors today. It's not gonna happen. Gonna today is not the day. Fish. Hmm? I'm gonna try to get a goldfish. Okay. Oh wait, we have a purple fish. Oh, you don't want more than one fish? Even if well, hard. so the the way that the, I mean, we can, I think that's fine. Ooh. The way the garage display works is you want things in a variety of different categories, but we can Ooh. have more fish. I don't, I'm not sure we're gonna really get a very good garage display first year, you know? That's true. If you walk into the mines and then walk back out, you'll get the cut scene where you get the pan. If you okay. would like to get one. <clears throat> Sebastian is pretty dreamy. Or, uh, Elliot. It's Willie. Willie gives Sebastian. you the pan. Willie gives you the pan. Oh, Seba you just walked by him. Yeah, Sebastian's super dreamy. Sebastian's my second choice after Shane. I love him. Copper pan. <clears throat> now you can make all your mining. I actually have done that at a, a place called Frontier Town where they reenact being one of the old West people. They have shootouts and oh, you have to pretend to look for gold. Fun. I did something West similar Town. in um in Alaska. They have one of those like panning for gold touristy thingies in um. I want to say it's Saskatchewan. I can't remember what town it's in, but it's in Alaska. And it was fun. It sounds fun. I think Alaska yep. is going to be really pretty. Was it nice? Oh, I loved Alaska. Um, I've been twice, actually. I went as a kid, and then I went again as an adult to show my husband, because um, I just thought it was so beautiful. And, um, you know, it's only going to be here for so long. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, sh I wanted to show him. Um, I loved it love Alaska. It's beautiful. I feel like I don't know about Alaska. Is it um, flooding? No, it's just the glaciers are melting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it won't be, it won't be the same way forever. Yeah. I was reading about how uh, the shores are disappearing everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh. 
it's happening even um, around where I am. We're near Lake Ontario, and all the the waterside homes are literally drifting away. What? That's crazy. Yeah. No, I mean, I definitely believe like all that stuff is here and it's and it's staying and it's going to get worse um, mm -hmm. for sure. Like it rains every day. It rains every single day here. And that's not normal. That's not what it used to be like. But it like it literally never stops raining. Um, and I know like I live in the swamp <laughs> like, we've, you know, I've said that on stream before. I live in the swamp. Um, but uh, but even in the swamp, it doesn't rain every single day. Torrential downpour, lightning, crazy you know, but, uh, but yeah, it has been. Okay, I need to go get 450 woods, and then it looks like it's only 10k to upgrade the house. So we can maybe do that. We have 448 we have wood in this chest by the broken down shed. Okay. I have a few wood in my inventory, so we can do that. I don't think I'll make it back to her today before she closes, because it's 420, but... Um, I can upgrade it tomorrow. We're gonna have to check on the animals. Have you checked on the animals today? Don't so think don't... so. Don't okay, think I'll so. Do Luckily, in this game, your animals will never hate you. It's true, but I think if you love them, they make better products. They do. If you pet them and and stuff, they will make better products. Let's see. Is she till five p.m.? Yeah, so she's closed. Do have to oh, do that tomorrow. Egg. Yay, a duck egg! We can put that in the um thing, in the community center. Let's see. Where are we at with the community center? Okay, if we have a duck egg, and then wool. Okay. And I guess we're going to have to get a goat or a rabbit so we can get either wool or goat's milk. So we need to upgrade the barn. I think you'll get goat's milk quicker. Uh... Yeah, I think we'll get the goat's milk quicker too. I where I keep putting the mayonnaise. Let's just leave it where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can stay oh, in the mayonnaise. chicken. Oh, yay! I didn't even realize. It's, that's, we'll call it Duke's. Oh, we have a gold <laughs> milk now, too. Are you having the animals just spontaneously disappear? No. Yeah, like they were just walking across the farm and then it disappeared. Poof. Oh. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Oh, we already have gold mayo? Okay, well, I'll just sell it then. Keep forgetting about the different farms. Yeah, every time I come back to this layout with the four corners, it always throws me just a little bit. I'm just like so not used to it. <laughs> uh, it's funny to me. Let's see. What of this? Can I sell any of this crap? Let's sell some crap and get some more Mune. I have some artichoke. Do you want me to sell? Yeah, yeah. Let's sell it. Oh, there's a jade. I'm going to go put the jade in the duplicator thingy. Perfect. <laughs> how it's so do we funny how many this? different things there is to know about this game. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, <laughs> it's the never ending um, amount of information about this game. Okay. okay. You can go here, crystal thingy, and then we're going to jade you. Okay. <laughs> jade you. Yeah. J -j -j Jaded. <laughs> okay, duck eggs dropped off. Okay. And we only need one more thing for that bundle, right? No, oh, we do need two more. So yeah. goat's milk, wool. So we got to get both goats, milk and wool. All right. Any day now we'll get a large egg. Yeah. Oh, it's late. <clears throat> yep. It bedtime. Good night.
<clears throat> so Kitty, do you have any um, fun plans coming up for Halloween? Because as you know, I believe Halloween starts in September. Um, I was going to decorate my house. Yeah. And all my orders got canceled. <gasps> I don't know what happened. <laughs> what? Like your house decoration orders? Yeah, they were shipping out and then um, like they were going to come around now between now and like the beginning of October. Yeah. But, um, after like three weeks, I got a notification that the shipment got lost. Oh, no. That's so terrible. Now, like, ruined. Like, Halloween's canceled. Oh, well, you know, Amazon's got, got really cute stuff. I'm sure you could find some good replacement things. There's even if it's not you. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Your house looks really cute, though. Thank you. We're not done. We're technically, according to the HOA, not supposed to start decorating until the beginning of October. But um, our across the street neighbors started decorating. So we were like, fuck it. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're going for it. Oh, is today the garage display day? Yes, it is. Okay, so I can't upgrade my house today, I don't think. I'm going to go try to talk to Robin, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, are you gathering our garage items? I Actually, I, I might have to. Right I don't know how that works. I, I'll, I'll gather our garage items um, in case the in case it has to be me that puts them in or something. Sounds We're going to find me. out how the multiplayer version of this works. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're already almost back up to where we were. Yeah. Money. Yep. Money, money, money. I'm going to wait out of sight of Robin's until 9 to see if she answers. I don't... I'm kind of thinking she probably won't because it's a holiday. Yeah. I know that they close on holidays. Mm-hmm. But multiplayer is different, so who knows? Yep. Oh, sorry, Maru. Was I in your way? I didn't mean to. This cat is so cute <clears throat> in the game. Mm-hmm. Kitty kitty. Mm. But yeah, I I don't know. Um, the boys actually might be doing some more Halloween decorating because it is a rare moment of not rain right now <laughs> at my house. Oh my <laughs> How do you mow? Uh, we haven't yet because because it's a new house with new sod and stuff. We want to make sure that mm -hmm. the grass roots. So we actually were told don't mow it for at least a month, which just expired like last week. Um, and uh, and because it's been raining so much and like the ground is like it's kind of weird. So we're actually like kind of nervous about when we should start mowing. Um, so we haven't yet. That makes sense. You're gonna let it go all the way to seed. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the plans are. the The yard is not my job, so Ooh. I don't know what exactly we're gonna do. All I know is what we've done so far, which is not mow it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I I wish we didn't have to maintain certain things with the yard, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, let's see, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Got nine yes. different items. I'm gonna go to the festival. Okay. I'm on my way. We've got some con. It's con. <laughs> did you did you know that kid got to got invited to the uh, Pinocchio movie premiere because of his corn song? Oh I don't know God. what Pinocchio has to do with corn, but he was invited. Good for him. Yeah, I hope he gets to make some of the money. I hope so too. I hope he's making some money, money. Okay, we got to talk to everybody. <laughs> Making plans. Do you um do you like to play any of the games at these? Do you want do you want to do any of that? I usually don't. I usually skip them. But um yeah. I got I know that if we get enough of the things we get the star fruit. We get enough of the the star points. Um I think the only thing worthwhile 
right now in like in year one like maybe when we're ready to get decorations but, yeah but like the star drop because that helps the energy levels and stuff yeah we can try to get the star drop if you play the fishing game usually one round is enough because we have the mod oh i didn't realize that yes we can do that after i talk to everybody i'll play the fishing game too I gotta get them sweet, sweet friendship points. Oh no! I meant What's to wrong? not- I started the fishing game. That's okay. I was I mean, looking I think... to see- uh -huh. I like the fortune teller. Oh yeah, the fortune teller is fun. I think you have a better rod though, which might still- Oh yeah, I have- I have the iridium rod. I have the bamboo. Okay. So you'll get the better fish, because the better fish gets you more points. Okay. Well, I'm gonna- I think I talked to everybody. Is there anybody up here? Or is this blocked off? Oh no, there is a couple people up here. Maru's up here. And Elliot. How's Harvey? Um, Harvey's no. great. He's having fun. All right, I come into you, fishing game. Fish, fish. I believe in you. Thank you. We'll see, you're probably gonna beat me, but we'll see how much you beat me. Okay. Oh, well, if I casted properly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a good point. I really didn't ever play this fishing mini game. I guess that was because the first time I played it, I probably didn't have the fishing mods. So I was like, oh god, why would I want to do that? But now that I have the fishing mod, you're right. Like, I should be playing this every time I start a new farm to get the mm -hmm. star the star drop. Good strat. Okay. I got five fish. That's pretty sad. You know, my the graphic doesn't look like my iridium rod, so I'm not sure that the game is using my better fishing rod. Oh. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just like not Maybe this is what it normally looks like and I'm just I'm just not paying attention properly. Maybe it still counts it. Maybe? I don't know. see ya. Okay, 15 more seconds. You got I it. I, I fish catch and fiend. I catch in all the fish. I'm gonna have some fish dinner tonight. That's, oh, time. It's, how'd you do? 239. I caught 11 fish. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely blew me out. 288 star tokens! How many star tokens did I need to get? Let's see. Oh, I need 2,000. I guess we can play- let's play- I guess we can play the fishing minigame until we get enough for the... star token. Do you remember if we get any for win? Well, I don't know if we'll win with the produce. Um, I think you do, but I don't remember. <coughs> hey, Moisty, how's it going? Thank you so much for the lurk. We love our lurkers here. I'm gonna mute for a second. I think I would have a coughing bit. Okay. Oh, Moisty, I gotta talk to you this afternoon. I got a question for you. Don't let me forget. I'm going to message you after I'm done streaming. So, this is me reminding myself to not forget to message Moisty today.
Okay, it looks like I'm gonna get around 200 something points each time. Okay. You okay? Yes, it almost turned into a more than coffee table, but we're good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, my, um, my COVID every time, I've not really had the coughing symptom very much. Um, at least not, like, crazy strong, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I still had my taste and smell. I actually feel like my taste and smell was stronger during COVID. Really? Yeah, yeah, I never lost my taste or smell either. I wonder if that symptom's mostly gone, like with the new variations. Maybe. I don't know. I know the last one I had was definitely one of the newer variants, because I was, like, all vaccinated and boosted up and everything, and I still, you know, was having it, so. Yeah, I think that it doesn't matter, because, like I said, my daughter's had it three times this year, and she's fully vaccinated, so. But it, mm -hmm. but it does make it lessen. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it lessens the symptoms. I do know that's true. But it does not stop you from getting it. No. And I couldn't even imagine if I didn't have a vaccine. Because yeah. this has been a real rough week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the last time I got it was really rough on me too. And it lingered. I like had it for a full two weeks. Basically. Like it took forever for my symptoms to go away. Yeah, I just had solid food yesterday. Jeez. Selling star tokens. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. Well, that's cheating. You can buy star tokens. Oh, well, maybe I should just buy the rest instead of fishing <laughs> over and over. Let's see, we'll see how many points I get this round. I wish I could give you the ones that I got. That's okay. The clown is so depressing. <laughs> Yeah, it's a sad clown. <laughs> it's a sad clown in this game. That's true. He looks very angry to be a clown. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't really like the clown design. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably supposed to be that way. There's so many things in this game that are just unnecessarily depressing sometimes. It's true. It's true. You know, uh, going back to Disney Dreamlight Valley, uh, that game is actually shockingly uh, sad at times, too. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to do a lot of saving the Disney characters. That sounds All like right. Pixar got to them. Yeah, it, it really does feel <laughs> like that. Okay, where do you buy them? Just up at the shop? Where, do you, where did you get them? Um, there's a booth right down right here next to you. This booth? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need, if I need 2k, then I need a thousand. Oh, wait, how much money do I have? We have 1600. Oh. We're making it's... it pretty fast, though, with the mayonnaise. Yeah, these are expensive. I'm not, I'm not doing this. We're fishing again. Okay. Maybe we should do the garage display after I do this round, because I because we probably do get star points for that. Yeah, I think that's a good plan, and then see what you have left. Yeah, because I don't. I I just have a feeling like first year with the stuff that we have, like I don't see how we're gonna win, but we might still get some points. I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I've done this festival in my game, because I kind of like got everything from it already. So I don't do it. Oh, I thought I heard the fishing sound. I guess not. It's a bummer on the strength when you get the max. It only gives you one token. I know! It's ridiculous! I won't play that one. That one's stupid. Usually what I, what I do or what I used to do last time I had a newer farm is... um. You can kind of cheat with the the green orange like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's green that's you get slightly more often. Um, so you can kind of cheese it and get a lot of star tokens that way. But it does take a minute. It's not like fast, but it works. So you can definitely get them. 
Yeah, you know, I was playing it for a little bit, and it was green like four in a row. Mm -hmm. But I kept guessing orange. Yeah, I think it's green. That it is slightly more. It's not really a fifty-fifty. Nope. My character blends in with the tourist and sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, I guess you can be a tourist if you want to, Kitty. Yes. My sunglasses are slightly off, so they oh. look a little crooked, so I think I kind of look like Weekend at Bernie's. Oh, I never <laughs> noticed that. I, they are. Is it because of your hair pixels? Is it because of your hair pixels they look slightly off? It's got to, but it definitely makes me look like crazy. Yeah, because you've got some, your hair pixels are like kind of dark, bang line like right above your glasses and it makes them look like they're like oop, just like <laughs> oop, <laughs> to the side but i don't think they are really oh i never noticed that all right let's do the garage display uh not yet okay let's set it up oh it shows how many star tokens we have so you guys could see me losing <laughs> yes we could the orange <laughs> we could well, it doesn't show them to me when I'm inside the fishing minigame, but when I come out, I can see the star tokens again. Oh, I can see you putting the things up. They're so pretty. Yay! Uh, okay. All right. So we do only get one garage display, so that's interesting. So we kind of just have to work together, I guess, is how that works. Yes, ju judge us. Judge us, later. sir. I saw somebody cheat and get like, and put like a whole garage display of uh, the mayor's shorts. Um, that was funny. Oh my god. Yeah. So you could just generate it in the item generator. Um, excuse me if you have that mod installed. And uh, yeah, just all of his shorts over and over. <laughs> Oop, what did I do? Okay, we've been judged. <gasps> hey, look at that. Oh, I didn't. There we go. Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! We okay, did it. I won't forget. So we don't lose all of our shit. Okay, we definitely you get, don't want to lose that. You get a star, and I'm gonna bet. I only have a thousand, so I'm gonna bet on green. Okay. <laughs> Let's see you can happens. do it. I believe in you. I'm going big. I'm going a thousand. Go big or go home. Put it all on the line. Come on, green. Shit! I bought the wrong fucking thing. Oh no! I clicked. I misclicked. So I got to do the fishing fucking mini game again. I won. I'm betting on green. You should give it a try. <gasps> you did it! You did it! You did it! Okay, let me do it. Whatever. We're gonna bet. I clicked on the stupid rare crow instead of the stupid star drop. You just okay. need a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna bet 500 on green. All right. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And it's orange. Oh, no, it's green. <gasps> Yay. Yes. Okay, we're going to bet 500 again. Let's see. On, oh, I don't need to bet all 500. Uh, yeah. Just in case. <laughs> you can also put the shorts in the soup during the summer event. Yes, I've seen somebody do that too. That's so funny. It cracks me up. Let's make a short soup. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at that. Okay, I'll let you now get I've the got enough again. First. Oh, you can do it. I just didn't know if it, just in case it only gives it to one of us, I just want to make sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Star drop. Can you buy it too? Yes, yes I can. Yay! I'm so glad. Magical. It LSD. reminds me of sushi. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. We did it. Hooray. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else worth buying with the last little bit? Just dried sunflowers. Okay, I'll buy some dried sunflowers. All right. All right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Yep. I love that we gambled our way to the top. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we did things the, the legit American way. <laughs> As a true patriot should. Okay, I'm gonna put our ice pip and ghost fish in here. 
So those are pretty rare fishes. I mean, well, they're kind of annoying to get. We just anyway. got an eggplant, so... Um, Yay! Yeah. Take that to that the needs, community center. Yeah, that needs to go into the community center. I guess the rest of this... This can be sold. Okay. Anything in here? Empty. We're getting closer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so tomorrow. Yep. So tomorrow I'm gonna upgrade my house. It'll so we great. can have a kitchen. Oh yeah, and tomorrow I can get my rerun recipe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In my personal game, I only have like five recipes left. Oh, nice. So getting some of those final recipes can be really annoying. Especially later in the game, because I had to figure out how to get ingredients or recipes that my tools were too good to get like yellow sponge instead of purple sponge yeah and you kept getting purple sponges it's like oh, oh my god how do i get yellow sponges <laughs> i mean you will eventually get them if you keep trying but it's very annoying yes well i just downgraded my rod i went and bought a bamboo one mm, and did it that way mm -hmm. that makes sense oh i forgot to see if i'm lucky today i'm lucky today Open up, Robin, open up. I want to upgrade my house. Very happy, yeah. I'm gonna take out my frustration on this tree. Cause you didn't open up early, Robin. <laughs> Very rude. Mm-hmm. That's what A she Robin. gets. Mm-hmm. Have you been watching the new Rings of Power? No, I have not. I need to watch it. Everyone says it's good, but it I have not so watched good. it. And I watched the new Thor Love and Thunder now that that's streaming. Oh, yeah. I want to watch that, too. I was waiting for it to come out on streaming. I heard that wasn't as good, which is sad because the last Thor movie was amazing. There was um, a lot of really good funny parts. I was actually going to do the points for a new sound alert based on that movie. <gasps> yes, do it. I don't have any Marvel sounds. We could have a Marvel sound. Okay. Let me so see. tell me to, <laughs> tell me what I should clip out of it. I'll go find it. It's the screaming goats. Okay. So there's the screaming goat sound effect in that movie. Yes, I'm putting from New Thor. Screaming goats from New Thor. Okay, I'll do it. That sounds good But you good don't have to, to spoil the movie. I'll wait until you see it. Okay. Well, I'm sure I can, like, just YouTube screaming goats on the new Thor movie, <laughs> and I'll yes. get a clip, and I can just get get it from that clip. It's probably the best joke in the whole movie. Oh, good. To me. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. I'm excited. I'm excited then. It'll be my new Agent Smith laugh. Yes! <laughs> You do need something that's not so evil. I don't or is this an evil joke? <laughs> no. <laughs> it depends on how you feel about goats, I guess. Oh. <laughs> All right, so she's going to come upgrade the house so we will have a kitchen in 3 days, but she'll live with us while she updates it, which I always think yeah. is funny. I do think that's funny too. All, All right, family gonna... here. I'm gonna go say hello to the animals. It is getting kind of hard to walk through all this grass. Oh, a train! A train! I never oh get God to the nice. trains in time. Have you ever gotten anything good from the train when you've actually, like, met it? Um, I think, like, a pair of shoes one time. Oh! That's cool. I've never been successful with the train. I mean, I rarely reach it in time, and then I just don't get anything when I'm there. Oh, yeah. I'm right when it, right when it came. So hopefully we get something good or for the community. Mm -hmm. Ooh, large egg and duck feather. Fuck yeah. Heck good yeah. day, good day. 
Ooh, some iron ore. Just tons of rocks. Oh, I need to get the milk pail out of here. Milk pail. Oh, yeah. Wood. Oh, wow. A lot of geodes. Geodes? Shoes? I get the green shoes, leprechaun shoes. Was that what it was, kitty leprechaun shoes? Um, maybe? Yeah. I, I don't know what kind of shoes it was, but yeah. Okay. Are you there, well, too? Lunar's... No, Lunar's talking about leprechaun shoes. I think she's saying that she got those off the train. Oh, yeah, I get coal and everything. This is a good train. I've oh, good, you got... Some... Yeah. You got coal? Yes. Sweet. I've never been when it first came. I've never been that close when it came. So yeah, I didn't. It, but there's a lot of stuff it drops when you're first here. Oh, good. Not every train drops stuff, so you got a good one. Sometimes the train comes and it don't drop shit. Bastards. That's usually my experience. I got 19 geoids, fancy rocks, and seven iron and six copper, 16 coal, and a bunch of wood. Wow! Nice. I'm gonna chop those open. I usually get rocks, coal, and ore. Okay. So I guess... Yeah. I guess you got that. What Lunar's talking about. I usually get nothing, and I, I think I just don't try it enough. I gave up because it was... I wasn't getting things very often at all. Okay. Let's go put this in the community center. It's coal. It's got the juice. <laughs> Literally, it just it won't stop. It can't leave my head. It's permanent. It gave me cold cough. <laughs> Oops. The bad juice. <laughs> Come on, give me something for Gunther. Mm. Nope, just a bunch of clay. You bastard. Oh, Gunther can tell me more about that. So... Oh, large egg was already in there. What? Yeah, it's just oh, two it, different it... kinds of large eggs. Um, oh, no. So we still gotta get we gotta get goat's milk or wool, and well, goat's milk and wool. So after the house is upgraded, we gotta upgrade the barn and coop, I guess. Because I don't think we I don't think we have those all the way upgraded. I think they each have one upgrade on there right now. But really quick, since it's not quite night time quite yet. I need to use the bathroom, so I will be right back. Um, you guys, Kitty will uh, will entertain you while I run yes, back. I I'm gonna run back to the house, and then she'll entertain you for a couple minutes. I'll do you guys know sad I sad corn. Yeah, I I pee really fast, so it won't be long. Okay, I'll be right back. Getting sandstone, petrified slime, malachite. I don't think that's on the back. Green? I thought it was black. Well, I guess in honor of Karen, we'll do it's corn. There we go. New reward for the museum. Oh, the sloth skeleton. You have to get three of him to finish him. Oh, I got another geoid in the trash. Oh, damn it. You guys, look what Christ. I found. I found a different type of kitty. Lady says hello, everyone. She's got the juice. Hello, lady. She got the moves, too. <laughs> yeah. I said, kitty, now it's your time to shine. I, oh. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. You did good, kitty. Let's get some... Um,
Let's get some Lady Rave emotes going in the chat. There we go. Rave, rave, rave. Yeah. <clears throat> Rainbows. I love the rainbow emote. It's very cute. I like all the new graphics. You upgraded to some really great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. You can um you can thank uh selling the house for more than we thought we were gonna sell it. Um for Hell some of yeah. That. Yeah. I gave some of my budget for the, I gave some of that money to the stream basically. Oh, I wanna see if we need any of these gems. Oh yeah. I like your caramel dancing Riri's Lunar. Oh, we have a wine. I forgot. We I harvested it. Oh, we got wine? Yeah. We got to give that. We got to put that in the um community center too. Yeah, I was looking cuz I got a bunch of stones when I got the rocks broken. Mm. And I was trying to see if any of them went. We got to put the eggplant in there too. I had forgotten about that. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the eggplant as well. Yep. So the eggplant and the wine need to go into the community center. Harvest corn. It's con. <laughs> Couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. <laughs> I sing that to one that line to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> when when they when the cats see in my face and meow, I say, I can't imagine a more beautiful thing to them. <laughs> I say it near the kids, they always sing it with me. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Your kids like it too. They like the song? Yes. Oh, Anytime something good. like that comes across, <laughs> I share it with them because it's right up their alley. Oh, that's good. I don't, uh, I never know, like, or, uh, kids these days, if those things, if they're, like, too cool for it, like, oh, I can't like it because everyone else likes it. You know, that was a big thing when we were teenagers, you know, and middle school age, preteens. So I never know if the kids, like, actually like this type of stuff. Oh my gosh, it's Hi. Dragon's Hide! <gasps> Dragon's Hide! I feel like, um, I mean, I know you came by for a little bit the other day, but it's been so long, I haven't seen you in a while. Open a restaurant called Peace and Quiet. Kids meals only $150. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> good joke, good get, joke. I used to get really mad about kid-free places yeah. when I had young kids, but now yeah. that my kids are older... Yeah, I have changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice sometimes not having to deal with like the toddler, like little age. You know what I mean? I think you can still think kids are great and not want to be near them. That's kind of how I feel. Like, like I, I like kids. Like I don't hate kids at all. But sometimes I don't want to deal with them. It's, I mean, it's the reason I don't have any. I'm happy to babysit for my friends and things like that. But I need to be able to like you know, give them back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I have any more babies in my life, I want it to be other people's. I can squeeze them and then hand them back. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you have two already that you that you've raised and they're like, you know, uh, you know, not kid kid age anymore. So you're past yeah, that so. point. For sure. And I have a, um, a third older one in college. So mm -hmm. way older. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. I mean, they're based, that your oldest is basically an adult at this point. I mean, pretty much. <laughs> the, yes. And they became their their first time being a fur mom this week. So they had <gasps> really? Their first fur baby. Oh my gosh. What kind of fur baby did they get? They got a little kitty cat that looks a lot like Lady, actually. Oh, that's so cute. If you have it's pictures, first... you should share them in the Discord. I will, actually. She's first time living on her own, first time with her animal responsibility mm -hmm. and she named it dabs because she's young <laughs> i love that name i love that name one of my emotes here i'll put some in the chat one of the emotes is queen dabbing 
Um, so I approve. <laughs> I heavily approve. Where's the queen dab? Oh, wait, I don't have it on Discord because I can, I mean, I have it on Discord, but not on the stream because I can only do five animated emotes. So in, in the Discord, you can have queen dabbing. <laughs> what does Jeff Bezos do before bed? He puts on his pie jams on. Ah, pie jam is on. Ha 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 ha. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dragons hide more puns. Yeah, um, that was Re for me. I got Re when I was a senior in college. So, you know, she was with us a really long time and lived a really long life. So I hope that um, that uh, dabs can also live a really long life like that. Oh, I will pass yeah. the well wishes on. Yeah, that's so fun. Your first, like for real, your pet is very special. I feel that way too. My first for real pet was a turtle and I loved it so much. Turtles are cool. I actually kept turtles up for a little while when I was younger, but um, they live for a really long time. And it just got to the point where like I was becoming a teenager and I just couldn't handle the smell anymore because they do have a pretty, they, they, they do, um, they do smell like you have to clean their cage very <laughs> frequently and um, I couldn't do it no more. <laughs> uh, so eventually that's what happened and we ended up giving them away. But, um, but they were really cool pets for several years. Yeah, the, for me, to, got it, to give it to not the smell, I had aquatic turtles. I don't know if you had aquatic turtles. No, I did not have aquatic turtles. That helps with the smell because they're in the water. Yeah, yeah. So they, they are not going to have that issue. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just get a really good filter. Yes, yes. But with, with turtles, even if you have a really good filter, you, you have to, you still have to keep the tank like very clean and, I, and i'm not opposed to like cleaning tanks or anything like i raise guinea pigs a lot and so i was used to like cleaning tanks regularly but mm -hmm. it's just i don't know it was it's more with turtles i feel like i feel like oh, I, sure. they, I i did the most tank cleaning work with raising turtles than they i've just, ever done before uh, they poop like crazy yes <laughs> like, yes like i don't know how their tiny bodies um produce so much poop but they poop <laughs> so much. Did we never yeah, plant was... any yams? I didn't see any. There, there might be some in the left-hand side farm because I think we just planted whatever seeds we had. We never planted any yams. We're gonna need a yam. Uh, I hope we're not too late. I'll go to um, I'll go to the store. Oh yeah, if we get some deluxe fertilizer. Yeah. We could be able. We could pull it off. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some yams and deluxe fertilizer because I just realized I do not think we have any. We have plenty of money. Yes, we do. So we should be good. And we just need one. Oops, I forgot to sell this. And this will be the last day, by the way, guys. We'll complete this day and then we'll do um, a good news article and then we'll end stream. We'll raid out to someone fun. We'll find somebody somebody fun. All right, Harvey. Uh, let's see. Yes, I need a yam seed. And I need some fertilizer. Kitty. Uh, let's see. So, basic retaining soil speed grow. I guess I should get speed grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't that take any the, chances. Yeah, I think that would be the best way to do this. Okay. Don't forget the pin. I won't forget the pin, Lunar. Thank you so much. I will not forget. We're going to do your pin also. And we made a lot of progress, so I won't, I won't like linger too. We won't linger too long on this day. Mm -hmm. So we'll have plenty of time to do that. There we go. I'll make the last thing I do fill up our silo. Oh, good idea. The spot is oh, actually, already fertilized. Oh, I don't know what type of fertilizer that is, so we're just going to do it right here. Okay, it says it's going to grow in nine days, so 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27. So we should still be good. It'll be done on the 27th, it says. All right, I'm going to go turn in this egg plant.
Yes, we have a new thing, by the way, for you guys that haven't um, been in the streams too frequently the past couple, uh, where every time we get a new sub or gift sub, I add a pin to the pin curtain. I have a gigantic pin collection that through moving, I was able to find and uh, get all organized together. So, uh, after, so before we do, before we end stream, we will add pins for any subs. We have one sub this time from um, the beautiful Ineffable Lunar. And uh, if anybody else wants to, we'll do a couple of pins. Okay, so eggplant's been added. So we did good. We fin we've got three three stars, three out of um, six stars in the community center. So we're moving right mm -hmm. along. Yeah, and we got a couple that are really close. Yeah. It's all coming together, you guys. If we don't finish the community center within the first year, we'll be pretty close to doing that. Ah, thank you so much for the howl, Lunar. Ow! I'm gonna go say hello to our animals. Pet them and milk the cows. They will like that. Yeah. They got the juice! Oh my god, they do have the juice. <laughs> All right. All the ducks and it. chickens grow up. We should make a cheese machine too. Where's the crafting? Wood, stone, hardwood, and copper bar. Do we have the stuff for that? We should, because I got a lot of copper. Okay. I think we should have a lot of silver, too. So that maybe next stream, upgrading tools. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Um, hardwood. Let me go get the copper. I'm sure the copper's over here. C -c -c copper. Okay. Um, crafting. Okay. And upgrading the house, like, really drained us of the wood. We need to get some more wood. It's a good goal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna chop some trees, I think, to make another chest so we can have a chest into cheese makers inside of the barn so we can do the same thing like we're doing with the mayo okay i like that plan yep i feel like when like i got, got mayonnaise going that's when i started making a lot of money on the farm too yep yep i feel like we've had we've done really good with money since we've got the mayonnaise system duke's empire that's right we make in dukes because other mayonnaise could never. Well, we're helmets people, but this is your kitty. Don't tell me that <laughs> we can't be friends. The there's only two valid mayos in the world, okay, and that's dukes. And then if you if it's Asian stuff, then you can have Kewpie, okay. But that's it, all right. Like that's but, it. But we don't have dukes. What? Yeah. Like at the I've, store? I've never seen it. Yeah. It's just Hellman's or Miracle Whip. Well, you can't have Miracle Whip. So, I mean, if those no. are your choices. Kitty, I had no idea what y'all really don't have Duke's Mayo. Like in the, <laughs> in the, um, I guess the northern west, I don't know, Midwest, wherever. We're in the New really England don't. area. Yeah, yeah, New England. Well, I'm I guess sorry. I can never move there ever. <laughs> Unless you have a supply. I had no I idea. To. I thought it was like just a regular brand that was everywhere. And we just really liked it in the South. I didn't realize it was only in the South. Yeah, I'd never even heard of it until you said it. What? I'm so sorry that you have to live with inferior mayonnaise choices in your life. I'm going to look at my Wegman app now. Because that's our big store. I'm going to see if it even comes up. Like when you search? 
Duke's mayonnaise, real creamy smooth. Um, it does say we have it. Okay, it well, next but... next time you go to buy mayo, get Duke's. It's like a bajillion times better. It's got more vinegar in it, basically, so it's got a lot more flavor. And it's not so it. sweet. Hopefully, it's really good and it changes my world. I mean, I don't... I mean, it's it's... Don't get too hype. It's mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> I really like mayonnaise. Okay. But it's the best kind of mayonnaise um, that uh, that's out there, in my opinion. And we're in tomato season, so mayonnaise tomato sandwich is exactly. where I love to be. I would not have a tomato sandwich with um, Hellman's, personally. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Am I insulting your whole world right now, Kitty? I'm sorry. It's all I have. We know it's the end times when there is no more Duke's <laughs> I'll have to tell you how it goes. I am going to buy it as soon as I'm not contagious to the whole world. Okay, that sounds good. All right, I'm waiting for you to click. This is our last day. I'm going to let it save and then we'll we're going to close it. it. Okay, progress has been saved. Yay! All right, you guys, that's it for the star. Do he's going to exit? All right, let's switch back to the webcam. All right, all right, y'all. I'm going to pull up our good news article. So Landon picked this out, even though she had to go um, because her computer said "fuck you." Um, but we do have the article. Go away, chat. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, no one redeemed first this whole stream. What the heck? Kitty. Well, Kitty, you were first. I mean, so it's not wrong. <laughs> Boom. All right. Good news article for today. Magnificent picture of ape cuddling another species is finalist in the wildlife photographer of the year. See photos. Oh, oh, I love these. Oh, look at this. Okay. What is he doing? Oh, it's a mongoose. He's cuddling a mongoose as if it were a pet. Oh, very cute. Bonobo Cuddles Mongoose by Christian Ziegler slash Natural History Museum. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look at the other entries. Oh, Southern right whale. Wow. Oh, oh, wait. You can't see it. You're right. Y'all can't see it. Okay. I totally messed this up. I got so taken in by the article that I didn't even share it with you guys. Here's the link so you can look too. Here we go. Bonobo Aww. cuddles mongoose. Oh, look at how cute. It's like holding a little <laughs> kitty cat. But it's a I mongoose. I want to be the mongoose. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then if we scroll down, I'm not going to read all this. You guys can read it if you want to. But I want to just look at the pretty pictures. So we've got Southern Right Whale by Richard Robinson. This is a beautiful picture. I love like the the way that like he's got him all big in the center with that fisheye lens. You can tell the curvies. Um, Looks like he's we, glaring. It does. This coconut octopus peeks out of clamshell. He's like, why the fuck are you taking my picture? It is six in the morning. That's what this picture <laughs> says to me. <laughs> and then we've got the swimming pool, breeding frenzy of tree frogs. Oh, I guess that's those are eggies on the grass blade things, plants. Ooh. Oh, I love this one. Polar bear living in a house. I feel like I saw a series of these of like in there's like these abandoned buildings in Russia that bears have moved into. They deserve it. They do. We put them through hell. Oh, European perch in Finland. It looks like they're flying through clouds. That's not water. That's clouds. That's clouds and sky. Someone drew that. That's not a picture. What? Those are awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite picture, Kitty? Uh, the polar bear. I like to see them living it up. Yeah. The polar bear is good. I think this this whale right here is my favorite picture. He's like very intimidating looking. So I'm attracted the whale to that. Of judgment. He does. <laughs> he looks super judgy. He looks like he's judging me super hard right now. So I'm into that. Yeah, these are good. All right. Let's do our pin. Let's do our pin for Lunar. Okay. So here we go. 
got the pin box. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm not looking. Oh, it's a name pin. Okay, it's a Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, and it says Karen. Name pin. Very cute. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go add it to the curtain. Actually, let me switch because you can't see the curtain with where I've got the zoom. So they'll still be able to hear you, Kitty, but they're not going to see your name light up. Give me one second. There we go. So now you guys can actually see. <clears throat> right, let's put it right here in this little window. Okay. All right, so another pin for the pin curtain. Sorry, Kitty, what were you going to say? I said it's a good spot. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay. All right. There we go. Ah, hi, lady. What happens when we run out of pins? Lunar, there is like 100 pins in there, and I'm just not popular enough to run out of pins that quickly. It's going to be a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to find somebody to raid while I'm doing that. Um, Kitty, where can every fi everybody find you? What would you like to promote today? Um, God, I always want to say you can find me in the club. Bottle full above. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is much less, or much less exciting. You should just start saying that. You can find me in the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, that'll be my tagline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> And I would like to promote um, Pedialyte because it's what kept me alive this week. <laughs> Thank you to Pedialyte for keeping <laughs> Kitty alive so that she could join us in playing um, Stardew Valley today. I don't know what we would have done without her. <laughs> that one was free Pedialyte, but you're going to have to get in line with Audible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, okay, so it looks like we are going to, we're going to like, we're going to, we're going to change it up. We were doing some wholesome Stardew Valley, but we talked about some heavy stuff. Um, so we're going to continue the heavy. We're going to raid Ingzy with, um, he's playing drug dealer simulator right now. But before we do that, let me tell you where you can find me. Uh, here's all my socials. Uh, I post all of my VODs to YouTube. So if you would like to go watch any past broadcasts, you can always find them on YouTube because on Twitch, they, they go away after a little while. My main social media is Twitter. So you can always get the latest updates about what's going on with the stream by checking out my Twitter. And if you would like to make sure that you get, uh, all of the updates for um, for when we're going live and getting those notifications because you can't trust Twitch or YouTube to always give you notifications, then you want to get in my Discord where I actually can control the notifications. So that's all the stuff about where you can find me. All right. Um, next week, we are actually taking a break. I am going to be streaming on Thursday. We're going to be doing some more Final Fantasy X, but um, we are not going to be streaming on Saturday because I am going to be busy celebrating my husband's birthday. It is Levi's birthday coming up very soon. His birthday's on the 19th, um, and uh, and we're going to be celebrating it next weekend. So there will not not be a Saturday stream. But the week after that, we're going to be talking about Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3, so you definitely don't want to miss that. So be back the next Saturday. Thank you so much, Moisty. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, that's it's not exclamation raid. It's slash raid. I, I don't know what's happening. There we go. Slash raid Inksy. Okay, we're going to raid into Inksy. He is playing Drug Dealer Simulator. Um, He is doing a no cam stream today, but that's okay because we love Inksy. So we're going to raid into a no cam stream. It's cool. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show here at the theater today. And uh, don't forget, as always, to make it a great day. Say bye, Katie. Bye. <laughs>